Are you tired of constantly cleaning your cat's litter box? It's a question that resonates with nearly every cat owner out there. The daily task of scooping, scrubbing, and refilling the box is a routine we've all begrudgingly accepted as part of the cat owning experience. This common problem is more than just a nuisance. It can be time consuming, messy, and let's face it, not the most pleasant part of our day. We adore our feline friends, but wouldn't it be great if there was a way to lessen this daily chore? Maybe you've even found yourself daydreaming about a more sustainable solution, one where your beloved pet could take care of their own business, so to speak. Well, the good news is you're not alone in this litter box dilemma. It's a universal struggle among cat owners, but what if there was a solution that could save you from this daily chore? To solve this problem, we first need to understand why cats use litter boxes. You see, cats have evolved from solitary animals in the wild, where they had to fend off predators and protect their territory. They didn't want to give away their location to potential threats, so they developed the instinct to bury their waste. This behavior also helped to maintain cleanliness in their immediate living environment. Cats, by nature, are quite fastidious creatures. They prefer tidy surroundings and are known for their meticulous grooming habits. So, burying waste is not just about safety, but also about sanitation. Fast forward to the domesticated cats we know and love today, this instinct to bury waste remains strong. However, instead of burying waste in the wild, they've adapted to using litter boxes. It's a convenient solution that mimics their natural behavior. The soft, granular texture of litter is similar to the loose soil or sand they would use in the wild, making it an ideal substitute. Now you might be wondering, why do cats insist on this behavior even when they're safe in our homes? Well, this is where we delve into the field of ethology, the study of animal behavior. According to veterinary experts, cats continue this behavior as a form of communication. By burying their waste, cats signal to other cats that they mean no harm. It's a way of maintaining peace in a multi-cat household. However, if your cat is the only pet in your home, this behavior could be an indication of anxiety or stress. Cats may bury their waste excessively if they feel threatened or insecure. It's their way of saying, I'm not a threat, please don't hurt me. So if your cat is exhibiting this behavior, it's crucial to ensure they feel safe and secure in their environment. Understanding this instinct is the first step towards changing your cat's litter box habits. By acknowledging and respecting these natural behaviors, we can work towards finding solutions that satisfy both our needs and the needs of our feline friends. Now that we understand why cats use litter boxes, it's time to train your cat to stop using it. Training your cat is an exciting journey that involves understanding and communication. It's like learning a new language, the language of your cat. A cat's behavior can be influenced, but it requires a delicate combination of patience and consistency. This process is not an overnight miracle, but an ongoing relationship-building exercise between you and your feline friend. Let's start with the concept of cat training. Many believe that cats are untrainable, but that's a myth. Cats are independent creatures, yes, but they are also intelligent and capable of learning new behaviors. The trick is to tap into their natural instincts and motivations. Now, patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to cat training. Unlike dogs, cats may not respond immediately to your commands. Don't be disheartened. It's just their way. They need time to adjust and understand what is being asked of them. Consistency is equally important. Cats learn by repetition. If you're inconsistent with your training, your cat will get confused and the training will take longer. So whether it's the commands you use or the rewards you give, keep it consistent. Speaking of rewards, let's talk about positive reinforcement. Cats respond well to rewards. It's a simple concept, reward the behavior you want to see more of. If your cat does something right, reward them immediately with a treat or a pat. This will motivate them to repeat the behavior. But remember, while training your cat, never resort to punishment. Cats don't understand punishment, it only scares them and breaks the bond of trust. Instead, focus on showing them the right behavior. Also, it's crucial to start training your cat as early as possible. Young cats are more adaptable and quick to learn. But don't worry if your cat is a bit older. It's never too late to teach an old cat new tricks. Remember, the key is patience and consistency. Training your cat to stop using the litter box is a journey, a journey that brings you closer to your feline companion. So embark on this journey with love, patience, and consistency. Scene script. Training is one solution, but there are also other alternatives to consider. So let's dive into some of them. First off, we have self-cleaning litter boxes. 
These are high-tech solutions that automatically scoop and contain waste after your cat uses them. They're a great option if you're tired of the daily chore of cleaning out the litter box, but they do come with a few caveats. For instance, the noise they make during the cleaning process can sometimes scare more timid cats and they're generally more expensive than traditional litter boxes. Next up, we have biodegradable litters. These are made from materials like wheat, corn, or recycled paper. They're eco-friendly and often less dusty than clay litters, which can be a big plus if your cat or anyone in your household has respiratory issues. However, some cats might not like the texture or smell of these litters, and they can be a bit pricier than standard options. Then, we have cat doors that allow outdoor access. If you live in a safe, cat-friendly area, this could be a great solution. Outdoor access can offer cats a natural place to do their business, and it provides them with plenty of exercise and stimulation, but remember, outdoor cats face risks like traffic, predators, and disease, so this isn't a decision to be taken lightly. Lastly, there's the option of toilet training your cat. Yes, it's possible, and yes, it can eliminate the need for a litter box altogether, but it requires a lot of patience and consistency, and not all cats will take to it. Plus, if your cat suddenly develops health issues, it's harder to notice changes in their waste, which can be a crucial early warning sign. Each alternative has its own advantages and drawbacks, so it's important to consider what's best for your cat and your living situation. After all, our ultimate goal is to create a comfortable and healthy environment for our feline friends. So, take your time, weigh your options, and choose the solution that best fits your needs. We've talked about the problem, the reasons, the training, and the alternatives, but what do the experts say? Well, when it comes to the litter box conundrum, veterinarians have a wealth of knowledge to share. With years of experience under their belts, they've seen it all, and their advice can offer crucial insights. According to experts, the solution to the litter box problem isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. It's essential to consider several factors, such as your cat's health, age, and personality. Let's start with health. If your cat is experiencing any health issues, this could be the root cause of their litter box avoidance. For instance, urinary tract infections or arthritis can make using the litter box an uncomfortable experience. In such cases, it's crucial to seek veterinary care to address the underlying health concerns. Next, consider the age of your feline friend. Young kittens might need more time and patience to be trained, while older cats might resist changes to their routine. It's vital to adjust your approach according to their age and stage of life. And then there's personality. Cats, like humans, are individuals with their own quirks and preferences. Some cats might prefer a certain type of litter, while others might want their litter box in a specific location. Understanding your cat's unique personality can help tailor a solution that works best for them. But remember, patience is key. Changes won't happen overnight. It's a process that requires time, understanding, and a lot of love. Veterinarians also stress the importance of regular checkups. These can help identify any health issues early on, which could be contributing to the litter box problem. Finally, always remember that your cat's well-being should be your top priority. Their comfort, health, and happiness are more important than any inconvenience you might face. So, while you seek a solution to the litter box issue, ensure it aligns with what's best for your fur baby. Remember, your cat's well-being should always be the top priority. So, are you ready to say goodbye to the endless cycle of cleaning the litter box? We've taken quite a journey together today, haven't we? We've delved into the mind of our feline friends, understanding why they do what they do. We've explored the various techniques of training your cat to move away from the litter box and the alternative solutions you can employ to make this transition smoother. Remember, every cat is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. So, don't be discouraged if the first method you try doesn't yield immediate results. It's all about patience, perseverance, and a whole lot of love. Feel free to revisit any part of this guide as you embark on this journey with your cat. We're confident that with time, you'll find the perfect solution that suits both you and your furry friend. With patience, understanding, and the right approach, you can find a solution that works for both you and your feline friend. Good luck!